So these are the replacement ewes and we let these guys out to the fields every day because they're not being bred or anything and they got rid of their parasites so uh, they're allowed to go out free. So every day we open the gate and we lock it again at night. Uh, and usually when we because they're in the barn we leave the paddock um, gate. Here let me get this on first. We leave the paddock gate open but last night we had a lot of coyotes around the barnyard so we locked the gate so now they have a double wall between coyote well triple wall because there is this is a fully fenced field so they got to get into that field they got to get through these gates which we locked last night and then they got to get into the barn uh, gates so maybe an overkill but uh, we have never had a sheep lost to coyotes and so overkill is better than real kill I guess and I see those storm clouds we're supposed to get are coming in today so you'll if it gets windy and stuff we'll be putting the curtains up a bit for the lambs on the side where it's blowing in just to keep them warm and comfortable and dry main thing is dry so although coyotes usually uh, are more of a problem at night, they do come out during the day, but not too badly. So we feel pretty comfortable leaving them out during the day. Katie, Katie, we don't want them in. Well, they were gonna all come in, except the dogs always think that they gotta round them up. So again, we'll go get them out. My Shetty usually takes them out. There's Chewy. Hey Chewy, how you doing? She's getting quite friendly these days. We'll go bring these guys out. Chris, Ernie, I think he's, oh no, he's not bringing hay in here, so. There's 24A, she's a sweetheart. Come on, you guys can go outside today. Come on. Your friends went. Your friends left. Come on. Your friends left. Ben, Ma Ben, Katie. There they go. Here, Ben. Good boy. I mean, Max, Max, sorry. So Max usually takes them right out to the back of the field and then they work their way back up. As long as they don't, Max, Max, Katie, Max, come on. This is the one who is eating the grain. She's thinking, hmm, maybe I'd rather have grain. So, their routine is they go in and out all day long. They usually fill up their stomachs in out here, then they come in and chew their cud. Got our first frost today. So finally we got the signs of winter coming. I think at this time of the year, the, there's a lot of water in the grass and it's a little tougher. To be honest, they don't love it. They'll do it for survival, but uh, I think they more enjoy just the freedom and the running around. It's not about the food. If we weren't feeding them, it would be a different story, but they still don't prefer um, this uh, Call it mucky grass. You notice it even if you're mowing your lawn. It wants to bend over. It just doesn't cut as nicely. 